That is one hell of a backdrop down there, but what's in the foreground here? What are we cooking? I know you love to cook that, so we're gonna keep it super simple. We're gonna go a barbecue beef and bacon bourbon burger. I think I love every single ingredient you've just mentioned there, so mate, I think you've got it sorted. I'm gonna go and set up camp. Righto. So we're gonna keep this super simple. Just gonna make our little beef patty here. So these ones are about 200 grams each. So half decent patty. Got a few people to feed tonight. So when, you can do a double patty, but these are gonna be plenty just for one burger. So our patties are ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna whack these on the pan, get these started. Just make, got a little bit of butter in there just to make sure we can get a little bit of a caramelization going on. And then we're gonna pop over here and we've got maple bacon. This is something that really makes this burger. So we we'll get a couple of rashes of this. About two rashes per burger is pretty good, or however much you really want. When we're going to construct this burger, we've got a couple of little things here. We've got a little mix of jalapenos and pickles that we've finely diced. We've got a barbecue sauce with a dash of bourbon in it, as well as some diced up onions and some cracker burger cheese. And a little bit of a hidden gem of the show, this is actually finely diced beef jerky. So when you eat the burger, you're going to find this little surprise in there. That really makes it. So you just want to get a nice bit of colour on the bacon. Make sure that you're uh, paying a bit of attention to these, these beef burgers here. So a little bit of butter going on there, you get a good sizzle. So while that's happening, get a little brioche bun here. Start. A little bit of our barbecue sauce that we've made up. So this is just barbecue sauce, dash of bourbon, and a little bit of cracked pepper. So get a good amount on there. So Good reason to use brioche buns with this is they're a little bit rich, they're quite soft, and they just give you a really nice element, and they don't get too bready. So our bacon's looking pretty prime there. We're starting to get a little bit of colour on that, it's not going to be far off. So when you're whipping up some super simple burgers like this, all this is is just salt and pepper. Cracked black pepper makes the world of difference. So when you're looking at the mints at the shops, you probably want about an 80-20 mix between beef and fat. That's going to give you the best burger. And these... Oh, look at that. Get a nice little bit of colour on there. We've got a big, big patty. So we'll let this tick along for just a bit longer. Bacon's humming along. This is going to get a nice little uh, crunch to it, hopefully. Just with the uh, maple bacon. It's actually glazed in maple. So it should caramelise up quite nicely for this. It's going to be a pretty intense and rich burger. But tell you what, blow your socks off. When you're using 80-20 mix of beef, it's really good to cook the burgers well done because they've got a really high fat content and you'll still get a really juicy burger. However, if you are going to use something like a Wagyu beef, you can probably go about medium because you're already dealing with a really high grade of beef to start with. The smell out of this right now is insanely good. We've got some nice bacon going on and these patties are smelling absolutely divine. Tell you what, well these are uh, humming away. We're definitely cooked in worse places. Super simple, real easy dish. There's only half a dozen ingredients and you can actually prep a lot of this at home before you come. So when you rock up at camp, it's all done. You just open a couple little bags and containers or whatever you got it in and you can just rip in. So we're just going to melt a bit of cheese on these burgers. So we're going to go with double cheese like every good burger should have. So what we're going to do is we just want to help this cheese along a little bit. So what you do, grab a plate like this, you just want to dash. So a lot of the alcohol will cook off when you do this. You just cover that like that. By doing this, it's going to infuse the bourbon flavour into the beef and the cheese all in the one hit. Whoa, can't go wrong. So that's going to be almost done, I reckon. Look at that, just a little bit of melt on these things. So now, we're going to start making our burgers. So what you want to do is you want to get your beef patty to start with, throw it on your nice little brioche bun there, and then this is where all the really nice things start coming in. So what we do is we get our jalapeno and pickle mix. We'll just get a good little scoop on that. So it's up to you how much ratio you want of jalapenos to uh, pickles. Personally, I like a bit of a kick, so I go a bit heavier on the uh, old jalapenos. So start building that up. You might make a bit of a mess with this, but all good burgers start with a mess. And then we'll get our onions. Just a little sprinkle on that, like so. And then, now, with this, this is our uh, diced up beef jerky. So you 
kind of just want to smush things down a little bit and if you really want to try and get a little bit extra going on there, just throw it on the bun itself. I like a little bit of crunch, so what we're going to do here, get the old french fries. Just don't be shy. The last bit, every good burger, in my opinion, needs a little bit of mustard. So we'll just get a nice little bit going on there. There you have it guys, she might not be the prettiest looking burger in the world, but it's going to be really, really tasty. This is the Bendethra Barbecue Bourbon Burger. Hey Pat, you finished setting up yet? You're up. I thought you'd never ask. Man, this looks outstanding. Oh my goodness, it's a tower burger. How am I going to get mouth around that? <laughs> I'll give it a go for you. I feel like I need to go off camera for this one. <laughs> Have a little special time alone. Oh wow. Crunchy. You've got a little bit of sour of the pickles. Sweetness of the maple, maple bacon. Mate, that is outstanding. Well done. If I didn't have barbecue sauce, bourbon barbecue sauce all over my fingers, I would shake your hands. But um, I'm going to use my hand to to eat some more.